Hey everybody, this is Jenny from Teaching with Jenny and the Automated Classroom. And I wanted to share with you today a pretty awesome tool called Classroom Screen. So let's go ahead and check it out. It um, is going to save you a lot of time as a teacher teaching online or in the classroom, but sharing with your students digitally. So there's a lot of great things about this tool. And when I came across it, I was like, I wish I had known about it at the beginning of the year. Um, but you can see here, there is a free version of this tool, which is awesome. If you go into classroom screen, you get a background. So one of the first things you want to choose here is a background that you like. And there's lots of choices and you can actually even upload backgrounds or you can choose animated backgrounds. Um, so it's pretty neat. So you can do it per season or per your topic. So a lot of choices here. We've got one, um, because I teach ELA, I like uh, the uh, textbook here, but they even have ones that are animated, like there was a fire one, the fire will actually be, you know, burning as you teach. And down here on the toolbar, I mean, this is what's really invaluable because um, I know what I've been teaching on Zoom this past year, I will have like the share button up here and I'll have a zillion tabs going on. And sometimes it's hard with the share going on to like click into the tabs and it can be really kind of frustrating making sure you have everything up or kind of losing that classroom time when your students are waiting for you to bring things up. And the great thing about this uh, tool is that so many of the things that you need are right here. I love the random name generator. You can type in your list for free. It'll keep up to three of the lists for your classroom for you. And so say I could put in Sarah and then um, I'll put in Liam and Sam. And then when I hit the choose for the generator, it'll give you a name. So an awesome way to engage and call on students in the class or online, or if you're doing hybrid like I do. They have the dice here. I love this. I use dice a lot of times to decide which group might go first if I'm working in groups. But you can see you have the dice here. Um, this, oh my gosh, I love this sound leveler. So you could set this on a level for your classroom. And when kids are discussing or talking, it will project and show them if they are too noisy or if they're at just the right spot. You can turn on a bell to let them know if they hit a certain level. So super cool uh, classroom management noise tool. We've got here, if you're teaching online, we've got the ability to embed images in YouTube and you can actually pull up your webcam and it'll fill this space. The QR code, which, you know, is just awesome. You can put anything you want your students to. If they're going to another screen, you can post that in here in the screen here. Often I do like a little like Google Forms at the end of the class for an exit ticket so I could copy and paste that link right in here. Students could go ahead and scan the QR code and go to that page. The drawing tool for those of you like, especially I know a lot of math teachers like to use the drawing tool here. They might use whiteboards. This is similar to that. Um, we also have text where you can type in text. Also awesome. So if you were like kind of demoing a writing lesson or something of that nature, um, this is really cool. I love their work symbols. Now their work symbols you can have up in the screen and it kind of just directs students to what you expect the atmosphere to be. So a great way as a classroom management tool, should they be talking, should they be talking to their neighbor, should they be whispering, should they be having a class discussion, should we have silent time. So just another visual reminder to help manage your class. Um, the traffic light, also a great tool to let students know where they should be, should they be stopping, maybe whatever that you're directing them to do. If we're getting ready to finish an activity or go, if you want them to be working on it. Uh, we also have, and I know I would pull up a separate timer tool a lot in my class, but I love that the timer tool is right here. If you want to time how long students are working on something. Um, and then they also have the stopwatch. So you can kind of create that suspense with the stopwatch, you know, counting down. And we have a clock scenario in here. So you can be setting the clock so students know what time it is because we all know students are distracted or looking for what time it is on uh, your clock by the door. And a calendar here if you want to set dates for homeworks or when things are due. So all of this is right on at your fingertips in this tool, which is fantastic. You can make it disappear here. 
Um, if you need to go to the home screen here, it'll actually bring you into where you can create, I believe, up to three screens um, with a free version. So you could create one like per class, so it's already set up ahead of time. Um, or you could open it here, you could duplicate it. Um, they have group makers. The add poll feature, I believe at this time, is still under the paid version, but the paid version is really affordable. Um, this is a European app originally, so they have it in pounds and in um, US dollars as well. But I believe it is $29.90 for the year. So I, I kind of feel it's really worth it if you find you love this tool um, because it offers you a lot more options. Oh, and we do have, the poll is free. I misspoke. So we can go in here to make our poll and I love doing polls for class, but you can do a simple poll with the smiley faces, the multi-choice or the uh, true and false. So a great way as an exit ticket or a way to engage students is to use the poll. And we have a couple of different options here for the poll, what it would look like to look at your data chart when students are done. So that is just a quick cruise around classroom screen. I definitely recommend you use it, play around with it. I have found it to be really invaluable in my middle school classroom. I definitely think that this could work even if you are in the upper grades or the lower grades. It just gives you an opportunity as a teacher to be prepared and have a lot of tools at your fingertips instead of having to pull up a ton of tabs. All right, until next time, my friends, this was Classroom Screen, and this is Jenny from Teaching with Jenny and the Automated Classroom, signing off.